In this video, I will be showing you what a day on my period looks like, giving you all the tips and advice, and hopefully this video helps you. Here's me making my daily skin drink that has been helping me with my hydration, and especially since I've been breaking out a lot on my period, I like to take this. Then I take my flow gummies that help me with my cramps and along with other several things. Welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a period day in my life. I've been getting a lot of requests on telling me to film this video or just do a girl talk video where I talk about questions on period, advice on everything, just being a girl. I actually am currently on my period. I know this is like very TMI but I just want to be as realistic as possible with you guys because I know that there's not a lot on social media that talks about this kind of stuff related on on my period and I know a lot of girls that watch me haven't gotten their period or just struggle with cramps because I do too and they have a lot of questions and just want overall advice on this stuff. I'm so excited to film this because when I was like 14 when I got my period I was searching up all online like YouTube videos of like period day in my life, advice on cramps and stuff like that but I really couldn't find anything that really helped me. So I just want to try to help you guys and see if this reaches anybody that has these struggles or helps anything with advice related. It's currently 4 p.m and I have been in bed like all morning. I woke up at 10 a.m. and then I decided to like do my makeup, get ready, like put on something comfy and I took a shower and stuff but now I'm just feeling kind of lazy and I'm just gonna listen to my body because I feel like the most important thing when you're on your period is just to listen to your body especially because you're weak. You just feel very fragile like that's how I feel especially with my emotions. I'm very sensitive so I'm probably just gonna lay down in bed and watch YouTube, maybe edit a little bit and then I'll actually get stuff started. So right now I am gonna take a shower. This is kind of like the self-care part of this video where I just like take care of myself and this is like so important for me. Because if I'm not taking care of myself when I'm on my period, I will literally feel like complete crap if I stay in bed all day, which is totally fine. Like everyone's different, but I love taking showers and just doing stuff for my skin because my skin breaks out after my period and before. So I try to take care as much as I can of my skin and just my body, my soul. So let's take a cozy shower. <laughs> Something that I like to do is put new sheets on my bed since I'm already feeling pretty gross with being on my period. Putting new sheets on my bed helps a lot. for the night i know i get unready pretty early because it's right now 6 p.m but i feel like i just want to do my skincare watch netflix that's literally what i want to do and maybe do yoga or something like that i'm currently using the cleansing water that removes my makeup and then i'm just using a cotton round but i'm breaking out on the sides of my cheek anyways i just took off the sheets on my bed and put new sheets and it just feels so nice to have new sheets on my bed because i've been needing to do that for so like so long but like when i say so long i mean like two weeks and now it just feels so much better for the past hour, I've been feeling really anxious after I put my sheets on my bed. I've literally like just been sitting down contemplating like everything, like wondering if I should keep filming. What do I do? Like, I don't know what to do, what I want to do. I want to watch Netflix. I'm in a weird mood right now. Like, I don't want to do it. My mood right now is like, I kind of wish it was raining outside so that I can get like really cozy in my room, like kind of dark for some reason. I just want to get like super cozy and make my room cozy, which is literally what I'm going to do after this. I decided to grab chips and make myself a matcha while watching a movie to calm my emotions down because I was feeling very stressed and decided to watch a show, Aftershock, on Netflix. 
Okay, so I just made myself a matcha and I brought up some chips. I honestly don't even know what type of chips these are, but my mom actually bought them. And I don't know, they feel very healthy. She also said it's very healthy, so I decided to get these. And last time I threw up, which I know this is TMI, but the last time I threw up on the first day of my period, on this period, I ate these after and they made me feel like so much better. I also just recently, oh my gosh. I also just recently learned how to make cold foam and it makes the matcha 10 times better. Let me know if you guys kind of like want a matcha with cold foam tutorial and I'll definitely give it to you guys. I also got these cute cups from Amazon and the straws too. Like anyways, right now I'm going to watch Netflix while I eat my snack with my matcha because I'm kind of feeling exhausted. So just kind of rest and watch the show that I recently found. It's the Aftershock. I was watching this with my boyfriend and it's basically a documentary on an earthquake in Everest and Nepal. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right but but it's definitely very very sad to watch and like hard to watch also since my cramps are really bad right now i'm gonna use this heating pad i got off of amazon i'll link it down below if you have like really bad cramps and you're in bed i definitely recommend buying this it has like a heat setting and then you can have a auto off and a stay on so it'll turn off after two hours so you don't have to worry about anything burning or anything like that or if you fall asleep with it you can have that set on which is what i usually do but i'll just turn it off but right now i'm just gonna set it up to like five just because it's not terrible but it also like it's hurting So right now I'm just gonna be answering questions while I use this face mask by Tula and this is like amazing It makes my skin feel super clear and right now it's just not feeling the best So I'm gonna use this and I also really want to work on my skin just because I'm going on a trip next week And I just need to get it all figured out like I really want the skin to be looking the best Obviously when you go on a trip you just want to feel your best and look the best and especially that I'm gonna be at the beach But I love doing face masks like sometimes they're just annoying to take off But at the same time I love doing face masks like putting it on Anyways, you guys asked me a lot of questions on my Instagram story because I asked you guys to ask me questions on like girl talk. My Instagram will be right here. So if you guys want to go check it out next time I ask you guys some questions, you can be a part of it. The first question is, when did you get your period? What did you do with cramps? A lot of people are asking me like, when was the first time I ever got my period, which was when I was 14. I don't know if that's the answer you're going for, but I got my period at 14. And at first I didn't know what to do. I like absolutely had no idea. My mom didn't have bad cramps. I had bad cramps, so I just didn't know what to do what to expect i didn't know what i could buy to help me so i went online and i searched up how to like help with cramps at the time i was just putting things in the microwave trying to heat things up or but right now i just use a heating pad to help with my cramps i do take medicine for it it's like regular stomach medicine for some reason it helps i as well take the low gummies which are really good for cramps hormonal acne all of it but i definitely recommend it if you have bad cramps because i mean it doesn't hurt trying it they're really good too you go to bed earlier when you have your period no, no. Last night, I slept at 5 a.m. That's actually insane because I couldn't fall asleep. So the answer to that question is no, I don't fall asleep early. Sometimes I do, but that's like rare. Pads or tampons? I prefer pads, but I know a lot of people that prefer like tampons. I just personally like pads. I've used tampons before, but I just feel more comfortable with a pad on. I feel so unfresh when I'm on my period. Any tips on how to feel better? Taking showers literally makes you feel super refreshed. So if you're, it's like okay to take a shower like two times, three times. Like I was about to take another shower even though I already took two showers Like it's okay to take a shower and it just makes you feel so refreshed like a new person as well as just doing skincare Maybe washing your hair too I also got a tip from my grandma to not wash your hair in the morning because I don't know something happened to her So she told me that and yeah, I just never wash my hair in the morning when I'm on my period So if you're gonna wash your hair, then don't wash it in the morning Definitely wash it during the day. I mean go with you will with that information, but I don't know Is it normal to not have it at 13 years? old when did you get it i got it at 14 my mom got it like 16 so i mean it's completely normal if you haven't got it at 13 everybody's body develops at a different age so if you haven't gotten it yet and you're like 14 15 maybe even 16 it's totally okay my mom literally didn't get it until she was 16 so yeah it's a very unexpected thing like you will never know when you get it it's really just like when the time's right do you take any vitamins when you're on your period like i said the flow gummies are really good i don't really take anything other than that that helped me with my period and my cramps 
cramps and everything but i definitely recommend going to the doctors and like asking them like what you could take if you struggle with your period do you get moody on your period and if so what do you do to get rid of it i do get very very moody on my period i don't know for some reason i get like pissed i get sad i get angry i'm very sensitive to like all my emotions getting rid of it is definitely hard it's a process but there's things that you could help with doing which is like meditating i just did it and i was feeling like very anxious i actually cried in the middle of the day today and i didn't film it like i forgot to pick up the camera but i was feeling very anxious and like there was just so many emotions bottled up in me so i just like decided to sit down and meditate after watching a movie and watching a movie is like very good also to get rid of the moodiness and stuff like that because you're getting distracted but for some reason it just made me feel even more anxious i just couldn't focus so i just decided to sit down and meditate and just stay with my thoughts i didn't really like turn on any video you could also just sit down and just like have your eyes closed in like meditation position and just think about like your thoughts like that helps a lot too also maybe playing some of your favorite songs like whenever i'm moody whether that be like not on my period and on my period i always play lana del rey like i don't know if you guys have heard of her but she's a really good artist a lot of you guys are asking me to give like a story on the first time i got my period like how it went so i don't remember it very vividly but i remember me going to the bathroom and we were about to leave to go to the airport to pick my grandma and grandpa and i went to the bathroom and i just see blood in my underwear and i'm like i don't even know what i was thinking but i was definitely confused because i just never really experienced that i thought there was a problem with me and that i needed to go to the hospital but i told my mom and she helped me she gave me a pad she taught me how to put a pad like correctly and all that stuff so if you just got your period and like you don't know what to do then i definitely recommend going online and watching videos there's also a lot of videos on that too that i as well just watched for my own self because i was like so and i felt like my mom was annoyed of me asking so many questions so i just searched up everything online on youtube and everything so yeah that's kind of like how it really went it wasn't that bad thankfully it was just me going to the bathroom and realizing it and it wasn't like embarrassing moment i got a lot of questions on like boyfriend and like other type of girl advice but let me know if you guys want like a girl talk video because i definitely want to make one of those i just wanted to answer like the period one since this video is literally like a period day in my life comment down below if you guys have any more questions about like period or whatever it is like girl advice talk anyways i'm gonna wash my hands off I ended off the night by adding proactive toner and repair cream on my skin. Alexa, stop. Okay, so I just finished getting ready for bed. It's currently 8.44. Like, promise you I'm not sleeping at this time. I'm probably gonna sleep at like 2 a.m. Because I probably won't be able to sleep. But I just wanna end this video off here. I wanna give you guys some tips, like some final tips and like share some things that I specifically really, really wanna point out once again. This heating pad is one of the best heating pads I've ever gotten. I got this other one, but it actually broke. And I've had this one for a while now and it's one of my favorite ones. It helps so much if you have like really bad cramps especially in the morning or any time of the day these flow gummies that are called the pms gummy vitamin they have vitamin b6 lemon balm and castor berry the ingredients in this helps with cramps bloating mood swings and hormonal acne i definitely recommend getting this they have this on their website and they have like monthly subscriptions this is also not sponsored like i found this on tiktok and a lot of people were talking good things about it so i decided to like get my hands on it and try it out it also tastes really good if you struggle with sleeping then i definitely recommend getting the deep sleep pillow spray you just spray this on your pillow and it has a lavender scent which helps you fall asleep faster and you naturally wake up feeling so much more refreshed with this and it just smells amazing and that's pretty much it other tips that i would definitely recommend is just listening to your body if you're feeling exhausted definitely listen to your body it's kind of just feeling burnt out if you just don't listen to it and if you overwork yourself when you're on your period because like i said you're very fragile listening to your body is the most important thing whether that be like if you have energy then go out like go do some exercise especially for the body it's good for it especially on your period but if you're not feeling good then just stay in bed have a heating pad and just watch netflix as it's totally fine like literally all day i just wanted to watch netflix but i needed to put new sheets on my bed and i usually do it before i get my period but i forgot to so i decided to just do all of that today and yeah just know that nobody's perfect i literally cried when after i watched the show i was crying because i was just feeling anxious there's nothing for me to cry about i was just feeling like very stressed in my own mind like i'm not telling you guys this to feel bad for me but i am just telling you guys to simply make you guys not feel alone if you cry over the dumbest things or you're just like crying for no reason and you have no idea why you're crying it's totally normal like you're not alone i do it a lot like it's kind of embarrassing but just to know that there's people out there that do the same thing and that are sensitive like my friend is sensitive and she cries when she's on her period about anything and it's totally normal so yeah let me know if you guys have any questions and if i forgot to link anything let me know in the comments down below because sometimes i do forget 
forget to link things and comment down below the flower emoji if you made it up to this point i love you guys so much make sure to go follow my instagram if you're not already and subscribe if you're new to this channel i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys